Welcome back. Did you find that shocking? Here we had a list that looks like that. It has one element in it, loop. If we do plus equals a list, plus equals a list, we're not surprised to get loop loop. But if we have a list and we append it to itself, we get this surprising result. Here is the result, a list. Now what Python is telling us that we have loop, loop, and then it has some infinite thing going on there. This appending a list to itself keeps appending that list to itself as it grows. Who would expect that? You might call that a pitfall. You'd think that append and plus equals should be the same thing. Append is a method. Plus equals is more functional. Here we see another difference between append and plus equals. We have some global t's. We have append t, where we're saying t append green. No problem. We're going to do an assignment so that we can plus equals in another t. For that, we need to have the global t point there. Here I'm doing an assignment. And I do not say global T, and we'll see from that that we get a trace back. I think the way to look at this is to realize that append is inside of T. I am only referring to T, so I do not need the global. And I am asking that T object to append itself. While when I do plus equals, then it's a new assignment of the T identifier, so it has to be global. And this one is not surprising that if we don't have the global, it crashes. This last one is the most stunning, definitely a pitfall, something you want to be aware of from this class so that you don't waste hours and days and weeks on this. Here I have a snake function defined. It has a default empty list as rattle coming in. I add another list to it with a plus equals hiss, and I print it. So when I stick in a list of 100, I'm not surprised that rattle then has in it that hiss. No surprise there. However, when I want to accept the default, well, the first time, I'm not surprised. I get a list of one hiss. But if I do it again, I get two hisses. And three times, I get three hisses. The takeaway is to realize that for mutable objects, you cannot put an empty mutable as your default. Python can't handle it. Whatever happens to that list happened to that list in memory. And this rattle, when it comes around again, sees the thing that happened before and before. Definitely a pitfall. Don't fall in. OK, I'll see you when you're ready to look at the very last lab. Good work coming this far.